Welcome to Swasso. They Shall Not Pass content is now live on the Battlefield 1 CTE, and DICE have started us off with the open French countryside map of Swasso. So we can enjoy a mix of the infantry gameplay locations and the wide open fields that is basically a tank playground. You might have seen in the intro there the behemoth, the Char 2C super heavy tank. That thing is just massive. It's about twice the height of a player model in the game, and it's stupidly long as well. The definition of a rolling fortress, if there ever was one. Now this video serves as more of a first look at some of this new content, and not really an overall impressions video, purely because I haven't been able to play enough of the map yet to really get a proper feeling for it. As with most initial developments of a testing build, that's basically what the CTE is, things didn't go all that smoothly, there were some big connection issues right at the start, but I finally managed to get myself into a server, I stayed in there for a few rounds, we got past that, and I think DICE were made aware of the issue, and they've noted it down so that it will be fixed for the final version of the game, but I've been able to get on there now, and play with some of the new gear and test some stuff out. And so, simply because this is a first look video, what can you actually expect from Swasso? Well, the Char 2C tank is certainly a highlight. It seats five players in total and it can be taken anywhere on the map freely, wherever the driver just chooses to go. It's not on rails, there's not a certain area that they have to stick to. They can go absolutely anywhere that they want to go. It's armed right up to the teeth with cannons and machine guns, and of course it's just a beast to try and take down. This thing is as hard to take down as the armoured train is, I think. Because it's more mobile, players can get at it from lots of different sides, so it can take a lot of damage in one go, but if the cannons are pointing at you, you're pretty much gonna die. The saint Chamon tank is a new addition as well, and it's a... Uh, very different, shall we say. It's not the most manoeuvrable thing in the world. It's got good straight line speed, but at corners, well, it doesn't really like them too much. I don't really think it actually understands what a corner is. You will get yourself surrounded, but that's okay because it has a secret weapon. You've got lots of powerful armor to deflect some of that incoming explosive. It takes less damage than a light tank or a land ship or the heavy tank. I think it only takes about 15 damage from a rocket gun, but that secret weapon? A messenger pigeon. That's right, the pigeon can be deployed from the tank, you have to push 4 on my keyboard, I don't know what that is for console, but it actually sends a pigeon out the side of the tank, the camera rises up, and that pigeon goes off to HQ and delivers artillery coordinates, which then rain down around the outside of you. How cool is that? Right out of the single player campaign, through mud and blood. But don't worry, the artillery won't hit you, it will land around the outside of you and hopefully it takes out a few infantry in the process. I think this has been added purely because the saint Chamon tank is extremely difficult to manoeuvre on steep and uneven ground. The French army are here as well, they're all geared up in their striking blue uniforms. Not the most camouflaged, I'd say, but nonetheless, I'm sure it's era authentic. There's new in-game music, there's French vocals for you to enjoy, and something that I really liked in the map, the dynamic weather. This time we go from a sunny countryside to a rainy, stormy day. And the river that runs through the centre of the map, it's more of a stream at the start, during the sunny day, once the rain starts to come down, that river fills up and you can swim through it. It becomes a flanking route, a really cool piece of design there by the DICE team. I'm sure there are plenty of other things on this map that I haven't even seen yet. I mean, I've only played this map for about an hour and 15 minutes in total. These really are first look scenarios, so I'm still kind of in that honeymoon phase. I haven't been able to unlock any of the new weapons yet. DICE haven't unlocked those straight away within the CTE. You will have to work your way up to get those, and because your CTE rank is basically zero if you've never played on it before, you need to unlock some of the other weapons to be able to use those in the assignment to unlock the DLC weapons. And of course, I haven't unlocked any of those because basically my rank has been reset within the CTE. 
But my absolute highlight, and this is something I will show you on screen, this map has a treehouse on it, complete with a machine gun post. Dice, you utter legends. I'm going to let the gameplay roll now. Make sure you watch all of it until the end so that you can get a good feel of the map. And if you've got access to the CTE, get yourself in there and have a good go at it. Don't forget, we're testing new stuff. So if you find any bugs, get back onto the CTE Reddit forums and report those bugs so that the DICE team can go out and fix them. Thanks very much for watching. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We have taken objective Charlie. We have lost objective Charlie. Fossil, I turned out. Objective Butter. Storms are half consistent. Objective Butter. Objective apples. 
controls all objectives. We have a behemoth. We have lost objective Duff. We have taken objective Duff. Taken objective atlas. We have lost Protect me. Tiens, Let's go. 